Welcome to Trending Places. Today we will tell you about the origins of Meteora monasteries in Greece. Meteora is a one of a kind location in Greece, if not the entire world. The surrounding area is littered with enormous rock formations. These rocks have been there for millions of years. Wind, rain, and other natural processes altered them further through time. From the 11th century onwards, monks settled on these columns of the sky in a region of nearly impassable sandstone hills. 24 of these monasteries were founded during the remarkable rebirth of the Eremitic ideal in the 15th century, despite immense challenges. Their frescoes from the 16th century indicate a turning point in the evolution of post-Byzantine painting. Today, visitors can visit six Meteora monasteries standing atop massive cliffs. Serene, spiritual, magical, mystical, astonishing, breathtaking, vast, inspiring, and impressive are all words that come to mind while thinking of this place. These are only a few of the terms that people frequently use to characterize the monasteries of Meteora. Even if your interests aren't religious, you should go to Meteora. It is the only way to deepen the spirituality that this area already emanates, regardless of how long or short you stay in our lovely land. The Monastery of Great Meteoron The Holy Monastery of Great Meteoron is the largest and oldest of them all, located in Meteora, Greece. Because of the cliff formation of a massive rock on top of which it was built, it is known as the Monastery Suspended in the Air, Meteora. Saint Athanasios the Meteorite founded the Great Meteora Monastery, also known as Megalo Meteoron, in the 14th century. The Monastery of Holy Trinity one of the most photographed monuments in the area is Meteora's Holy Trinity Monastery, Ajir Triada. At the same time, getting there is the most challenging. Those that attempt to reach it will be rewarded with a breathtaking panoramic view of the surrounding area. The Monastery of Rusinu The Holy Monastery of Rusinu was founded in the 14th century and is located in Metora. It was named after the first hermit monk who lived on the rock during that time period. The main cathedral was built at the end of the 16th century and was embellished by a monk who resided at the monastery 30 years later. The Monastery of St. Nicholas. The Holy Monastery of St. Nicholas of Anapipsis, also known as Aegeus Nicolaus, is the first active monastery we come across on our route to Metora. It was founded in the late 14th century. A journey to the monasteries of Metora provides a unique perspective on nature's majesty, as well as history, architecture, and man's eternal quest to connect with the divine.
The Monastery of Saint Stephen. The first monastery settlement on the rock of Agia Stephanos originates from the early 12th century. Its founders are Husios Antonios, who lived in the first half of the 15th century, and Husios Philotheos, who in 1545 refurbished a rather reconstructed from the foundations the old tiny and elegant Catholic on, which is now the church of Agia Stephanos. The Monastery of Varlam. The Holy Monastery of Varlam is Meteora's second largest monastery. It was founded in the mid 14th century by a monk named Varlam and is extremely close to Great Meteora Monastery. Around 1350, Varlam was able to scale the cliff and establish the monastery with the help of a few other monks. The cliffs of Metaora have been recognized as an ideal spot to obtain ultimate isolation since early Christian times. A location where people can find peace and harmony, therefore supporting humanity's eternal quest for spiritual ascent. Metaora is currently Greece's greatest archaeological site in terms of area covered. Since 1989, it has been a UNESCO World Heritage Site, and since 1995, it has been an official Greek holy site. A gigantic complex of massive rock pillars with monasteries built centuries ago on the ledges of sandstone cliffs produces a wonderfully unique landscape found nowhere else on the planet. Hope you like the video. We have more than 150 videos on trending places. Do like and subscribe. Keep watching.